You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. seen better work. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. Your army's pretty loyal. Why would you need to brainwash them? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. <laughs> Is that an offer? No thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. Ruth? 
Lazarus' mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. You're supposed to call me bad girl, remember? She said you were, were all dead. You think we'd make it that easy? <coughs> so stubborn. Jim was the same. I learned half of it from you. <laughs> Bad girl. Report. You were dead. Now you're suffering the after effects of a Lazarus pet. Talia dropped you in multiple times. She's trying to mess with your mind. Dead. How long? Long enough for us to follow your last case. We found the Court of Owls. They do exist. Yeah. And your Uncle Jacob was the leader. Jacob? Wise. You know what? We can finish this conversation no. later. By all means, let's finish it now. <laughs> I told you, and your father, to stay away from my family! Family? Is that what you call this? No thought for what we are to one another? Beloved, stay here. I've got this. I can... You want to find out how stubborn I am? Stay down. <sighs> <laughs> this is over. Now to our spoils. Another voice? You guys just don't give up. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die. So the court lives forever! I will never let the court get a Lazarus pit! Go! Deal with the pain! Ha! <laughs> 
All of you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. have been eliminated. It's time to roll out and take our city back. This is Vicki Vale for GCN, reporting live outside Wayne Manor, following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. That's him! Are you still rolling? Are you sure you want to do this, Master Bruce? I've got to. It's the only way to protect them. Very well. We just saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come.
This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. There was an inquest, of course. Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham? Now that the Batman is dead. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Help me! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet. <laughs> hey, freak! Maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! That look don't scare us no more! What the hell? <laughs> 